The iPhone 10 versus the iPhone 11. Which one of these awesome phones should you get? I'm gonna tell you. So let's get into it. <sighs> Greetings Aqua fam, it is Ben Aqua. And yeah, I have the iPhone 10. I have the iPhone 11 here, both amazing devices. First of all, if you're not subscribed already, you know what to do. Also smash that like button while you're down there. And also if you like this shirt, check out my shop, benaqua.shop. Enough abracadabra, let's talk about these phones. So yeah, these phones are really amazing. I've had the iPhone 10 for two years now and it still holds up super well. It's still really, really fast. But the iPhone 11 came along in 2019 and the camera is really what got me convinced to get the iPhone 11, even though the iPhone 10 is a perfectly fine device. But there are some pretty substantial differences between these two phones and I'm gonna help you decide which one you should get. I'm gonna break it down into several categories. Both of these phones have a lot of pros and cons. We're gonna talk about that in this video. So let's start talking. So first of all, let's talk about the price because that's usually the first question I would ask somebody who's thinking about upgrading their phone. You can get a used iPhone 10 now for about $450 to $500, depending on how many giga wiggles you want. And at about $500 or less, the iPhone 10 is a really, really good deal, considering it still works really well in 2019. The iPhone 11 starts at about $700 US dollars, and then it goes up from there, depending on how much storage you want. So when it comes to price, the iPhone 10 is the winner just because it's cheaper. But if you have the coin, you're not going to be disappointed with the iPhone 11. And it definitely feels like a $700 device. The next thing I wanted to talk about is the camera, which is one of the biggest differences between the 11 and the 10. The obvious winner here is the iPhone 11. I mean, it just crushes the iPhone 10 in so many different ways. And honestly, besides the price, the camera is going to be the biggest difference you're going to notice between these two different devices. On the iPhone 11, you get a much better selfie camera that you can shoot 4K video with up to 60 frames per second. The overall image stabilization is so much better on the iPhone 11 versus the iPhone 10. Like it almost looks like you're walking around with a gimbal. Portrait mode is way better on the iPhone 11. And also on the 11, you get night mode and deep fusion, which is coming really soon. And night mode has actually blown me away. <laughs> I didn't really think I would like it at first, but I've gotten some pretty amazing results from really low light situations where there was almost no light in the entire room. But using Alien AI or whatever Apple does inside of these phones, night mode actually produced some really usable photos. It's not perfect, but it does a lot better in low light than the iPhone 10. But the one downside of the iPhone 11 versus the iPhone 10 in terms of camera is the iPhone 11 has no telephoto lens, but instead the 11 has a ultra wide lens, which is a really awesome lens, especially if you're shooting stuff where you're really close to a subject and you don't wanna be like seeing their pores and stuff. You can use the ultra wide angle to back up the camera and see a lot more of your surroundings. The iPhone 10 does have the telephoto lens though, so you can zoom in to two times with optical stabilization, but overall I would say the camera is much better on the iPhone 11. Let's talk about the screen quality because both of these devices have really good screens, but I would say the winner here is actually the iPhone 10 because it does have that OLED display, which has like the ultra liquid alien eyeball retina display or whatever. Basically the iPhone 10 screen is really amazing and you get a much higher contrast ratio versus the iPhone 11. But let me back that up a little bit because the iPhone 11 screen is actually really good too. And you only really notice any difference between the screen quality in the iPhone 11 versus the 10. If you put the phones side by side, you'll definitely see more contrast on the iPhone 10. You'll also see deeper blacks and brighter whites and the colors just look a little more saturated. Text is a little bit sharper, but the iPhone 11 on its own is still an awesome, awesome screen. And it looks really good for games. It looks really good for watching YouTube, Netflix and stuff. So both of the screens are awesome, but the iPhone 10 is the winner because it just has a fancier display. Another difference between these two phones is the size of them, where the iPhone 11 is a little bit bigger than the iPhone 10 and a little bit heavier as well. I actually kind of like the bigger size on the iPhone 11, but the iPhone 10 is a little bit lighter, so it feels smaller in your hands, but it also feels smaller in your pocket. And because the iPhone 10 is smaller, it's also a little bit thinner. You can hold it for a little bit longer than the 11 and it won't hurt your hands as much. But the size of the iPhone 11 is also really nice. And I like that it's kind of the nice medium between the iPhone 11 Pro and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So videos on it look a little bit bigger than the iPhone 10. 
I would say the winner when it comes to size is a tie. They're both really good sizes. If you prefer a smaller device, definitely get the iPhone 10. And if you like the slightly bigger phone, I would get the iPhone 11. Now let's talk about the design and overall build quality. They're both built with really nice quality glass, but Apple says the iPhone 11 has the craziest and highest quality glass ever. Even though the cameras are super useful on the iPhone 11, how they designed it on the rear of the phone looks kind of clunky to me. Like when I saw the rumors initially, I was like, I really hope they don't actually use that as their final design. And then they used it. I'm sure we'll get used to it and it doesn't really bother me anymore, but it is a bit of an eyesore, honestly. But the iPhone 11 is also surrounded with a really nice shiny glass and it feels like a really premium device. So don't believe any of the hype where people are like, the iPhone 11 Pro is more premium because it has a glass that has a matte texture. The iPhone 11 feels really premium to me. It's not like a cheap feeling device at all. And the iPhone 10 is definitely not cheap feeling either because it's surrounded by better metal or whatever. But the metal on the iPhone 10 on the sides of it scratch a lot. So that's something to consider. You can also dunk the iPhone 11 in water for longer and deeper than the iPhone 10, and you don't have to worry about it biting the dust or drowning. Another difference you're gonna see with the two phones is the speed. The iPhone 11 has the A13 Bionic chip, which is incredibly fast, just super fast. It blazes through games, it blazes through video editing. It's just an overall super fast device. So yeah, the iPhone 11 is definitely faster than the iPhone 10, but you don't really notice it that much in day-to-day -day use. I think you're only gonna really notice it if you do some pretty hardcore gaming or video editing, video exporting, that kind of stuff. If you're just like opening calendar, checking your email, watching YouTube and stuff, I don't really think you're gonna notice that much difference when it comes to speed. And if you wanna see an even more in-depth speed test between these two devices, I did a speed test comparison video, and I'll link that in the description below. Now let's talk about battery life because this is where the iPhone 11 has been noticeably better than the iPhone 10. And this may be because the iPhone 10 is two years old and the battery has gone through a lot of use. And I just got the iPhone 11 with a fresh new battery. But the iPhone 10 battery after two years still holds up amazingly. And I'm able to get through an entire day taking photos, watching YouTube, playing games, etc., with the iPhone 10. And I may have to charge it towards the end of the day. And sometimes I can get through an entire day just using the iPhone 10, no problem at all. But the iPhone 11 is noticeably better. I feel like it gets at least one to two hours more use than the iPhone 10. And again, that may just be because it's a new device with a new battery. But the A13 chip on the iPhone 11 puts less strain on your processor. So you're gonna get better battery life even doing the same stuff like taking photos, taking videos, etc., on the iPhone 11. So yeah, it's a faster processor. It's much more efficient than the iPhone 10, And the battery has definitely lasted me all day with really heavy usage on the iPhone 11. And I'll typically go to bed after, you know, four or five hours of screen time per day on the iPhone 11, start charging the device, and there's still like 30 or 40% left on the battery. And the last category is 3D touch, and the winner is gonna be the iPhone 10 because the iPhone 11 does not have 3D touch. I kind of missed it at first on the iPhone 11. So after using the iPhone 11 for a few weeks, I really don't miss 3D touch at all. And now I actually kind of prefer not having 3D touch on a phone so I don't have to firmly press down on a hard piece of glass, which honestly kind of hurt my fingers sometimes. So should you get the iPhone 11 or the iPhone 10? Well, if you're on a tighter budget and don't care as much about having the latest iPhone camera tech or processor, I'd go for the iPhone 10. The overall experience you'll get with the 10 is about the same as the 11, but the screen looks nicer, it's smaller and lighter, and with the money you saved, you could buy some juicy merch from Benaqua.shop, so it's a win-win, BB. If you have a bigger budget, though, I suggest getting the iPhone 11. You'll get the faster processor, the new ultra-wide camera with night mode and smart HDR, the bigger screen, and better battery life. The upgraded camera alone, I think, is worth the extra couple hundred bucks you'd spend on the 11. So now that you know a lot of not so scientific information about these two phones, let me know in the comments what you think. Are you gonna get the iPhone 11 or are you gonna stick with the iPhone 10? I think it really comes down to your budget and which features you like best in each phone. But when it comes down to it, I don't really think you're gonna be disappointed with either one of these devices. So hopefully this video was useful for you. Hopefully it was a little entertaining. If you have any questions about these two devices, hit me up in the comments. Smash that like, subscribe, notification, Bell. I really appreciate all your support. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in 
the next one.